Arizona shipped $8.3 billion in exports to Mexico last year and another $2 billion to Canada. Supporters say that's one benefit of the North American Free Trade Agreement. At a forum in Washington today, experts, including former Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano, looked at what could happen if NAFTA is renegotiated. Cronkite News reporter Trevor Fay in our Washington bureau was there. Former Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano has concerns about the current negotiations on the North American Free Trade Agreement, but she has bigger concerns about those negotiations falling apart. There is an urgency to this topic, uh, given troubling comments from the current administration about terminating NAFTA altogether. President Donald Trump has threatened to throw out the free trade deal between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico if a new deal is not negotiated. But panelists at an event here today all agreed that negotiation can and must work out for the three nations. We see huge opportunities in the renegotiation of the NAFTA, and uh, in those opportunities, the possibility that we will be able to evolve a North American uh, trade and economic partnership uh, that is truly reflective of the uh, 21st century. Duquino says he and his countrymen have high hopes for the renegotiated deal and said the ultimate goal of NAFTA should be allowing all three nations to compete better in the global marketplace. Former Mexican ambassador to the U.S. Arturo Shakurin agreed that negotiation is the best option, but he is more skeptical about the avenue to get there. I do believe that you never let a good crisis go to waste and uh, the crises that was opened by Trump throwing the TPP out the window, which would have modernized and upgraded NAFTA through the back door without actually having to open Pandora's box and renegotiate NAFTA. Napolitano stressed that NAFTA has been very valuable to the U.S., and she said the alternative is not an attractive one. Um, the growth in trade has meant growth in jobs in the United States during the pendency of NAFTA. So. Uh, to, to lose NAFTA would be to lose, you know, that economic benefit. In Washington, Trevor Fay, Cronkite News.